The lady from Uncle. The lady. Hi, today I'm going to create a Google account and I'm going to opt for my personal use as opposed to child or business. And I'm entering my real first name and my real surname. The surname is optional, but I prefer to put that in. And the reason for that is that if Google asks who I am, I need to be able to remember what names I've given them. The same goes for the date of birth. It's really important that you give your real date of birth because you are entering into a sort of legal contract with Google and you are saying that you've been truthful about the date of birth. Gender is you don't have to say if you don't want to, but I prefer to give my my gender. Now, I don't want to use the Gmails that they have suggested. I want to create my own Gmail. But if I wanted to, I could also use at the very bottom, you'll see use your existing email right next to the next button. You can also do that and then you can use a Yahoo email or similar. Then the next step is to create a strong password. Don't reuse a password. Make sure that it is something that you are not likely to forget, but also that it's something that nobody else will be able to guess. Next. And now I'm being asked to confirm that I'm not a robot. And if you read and what it says underneath, it says Google will verify this number via SMS. Charges may apply. And that tells you that the number that you're being asked to supply to receive the verification code must be a mobile device phone number. You can't use a landline for that unless you have the ability to receive an SMS. I should point out that you may actually be asked to scan the QR code that appears on your mobile phone with the camera of your smart device and then take it from there. This is a fairly new feature that Google have introduced and it certainly doesn't happen in every case. It didn't happen in this particular case. I then confirm by entering the code that I have received via SMS. So I copy and paste the code, click on next. And on this screen, I'm being asked to add a recovery email address. And I would urge that you do. I'm skipping it because I'm going to do that later on, but I do urge that you do it. Now, choosing my settings, I'm going to go for the easy settings. Click on next. And here, please do read through this. This is all really important stuff. This is confirming my settings, my privacy, and then I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions that Google have placed on me. And that is the Google account created. Now, I would urge that once you've done this, go to your security and sign in and add as many verification and recovery options as you possibly can. Thank you for listening and goodbye.